I am Jinnering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we are going to understand about the Wipro Elite Syllabus and Test Pattern. So this Elite Hiring has been launched by Wipro and a lot of students had DM'd me yesterday that Sir, please tell us about the Wipro Elite Syllabus and Test Pattern. We want to know in depth what topics are coming in aptitude, verbal, reasoning, everything. So today in this video, we'll cover all that up. Fine. Now, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram and if you want to DM me something so that I can cover it here or I can answer your queries there, you can go ahead, follow me on at the rate Shuklaji Speaks. That's my Instagram handle and here you can directly get your queries resolved. Fine. So moving ahead without wasting any time, you should go ahead and you should follow all these social media handles of Prep Insta. The reason being very simple. You can get updates about various series going on, our lives going on, fine, whatever DSA series, aptitude series, whenever the live is happening, it is available here. All the hiring information is available here. Fine. So you must go ahead with this. Fine. And top three comments on this video may stand a chance to win Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. So do try your luck there. And straight away moving to the skeleton of exam as I always do before explaining any syllabus and test pattern. I always go ahead, I always tell about the basic scheme or the basic skeleton of exam. So the basic skeleton of online test is in this way that you will have aptitude test, you will have coding test and then you will have written communication test. Fine. So in aptitude test, there will be three sections, which is quantitative ability, logical reasoning and verbal ability. Nowadays it is called English ability. Fine. Nowadays, it is being called English ability. So, English ability and verbal ability, one and the same thing. Fine. So, what generally happens here is, you have 16 questions in quantitative ability, logical reasoning has 14 questions, 18 to 22 questions of verbal ability. This is the general pattern. Fine. And this happens in the basic online written test that's going to happen. Then you move to the coding section where you're going to have two questions and it is very clearly written that you're going to have two questions in coding section. Then you'll have written communication test where you'll be supposed to write an essay. Fine. This is completely the part of online assessment. Once you clear it out, you'll be going ahead for a speaking round or the speaking skills round. Fine voice communication round that is another one fine but this much is the first test or the first online assessment that you have to clear out fine and the total duration of the test is somewhere around 128 minutes generally it is somewhere around 128 minutes it may vary but generally it is this fine two hours two and a half hours fine now when i go further this is the syllabus for quants fine the quantitative ability you have profit and loss, you have SINCI, you have time, speed and distances, you have inverse, you have problem on trains. Now for all those people who are thinking what is SINCI, this is simple interest and compound interest. Fine, geometry, logarithms, PNC, probability, ratio and proportion, algebra, search and indices and allegation and mixtures. Fine, so in this, in these questions, you have to be very, very careful that you do not miss out on any topic. Now all those people who are watching this, take a screenshot of these topics. Now there are two ways to prepare. Either you can go to prepinstaprime.com. There you will find the whole Wipro course in one structured go. That is one easy way. But if you're doing it yourself, if you're doing in self-study method, you need the topics at least. You need what to cover. You need a checklist. What exactly to cover. Fine. So these are all free things that I'm providing you. Go ahead, take a screenshot of it. That would help you out. Fine. Because if you carefully see, it is approximately 16 questions of quants. Fine. And 16 questions here, if you miss any topic, just, just think that you missed some topic, fine. And you, for example, if I say you missed four questions from two topics, fine, you left geometry, you left logarithms and you could perform four questions there. So basically, you're actually leaving 25% of the exam, you're getting it. 25% paper, what is the there's no point leaving 25% exam, fine. So cover every topic written here. You cover from Prep Insta Prime, you cover from any other book, you cover from any other resource, it's up to you, fine. All those people who want to cover from Prep Insta Prime, I can show you that as well, fine. That is one very good thing that can help you out. So all you need to do is search Prep Insta Prime, you land up on this page, fine. And when you go ahead and you search here Wipro, fine. 
So here in Wipro LLTH, you will get everything in detail, right? You get everything in detail on the syllabus page of it. For some odd reason, I guess the internet is lagging. Even if you do not get it from there, what you can do is you go to this Wipro will here also you will have the syllabus page. I guess the net is lagging somewhere or something like that. I don't know what's happening here, but you can also go from this course list and you go to companies service based and here you click on Wipro. Fine. So see that's Wipro syllabus page. Fine. And you go here and you you can go ahead and learn from these particular areas. So quantitative ability, logical ability, verbal ability, everything is well sorted from languages, coding, DSA, core subjects, everything from very beginning of the online assessment to the last round of business discussion, which is interview, fine. Everything is sorted here in one go. If you see previous year questions, mocks, cheat sheets, everything is available. See all the numbers, menstruation and arithmetic ability, everything is available here. If you go to the logical ability, you will have topics of logical ability, classical reasoning, series, statements, everything is covered in detail, fine. So all those topics that you're seeing here would be covered there in detailed manner with previous questions being solved every time. So this is one thing that can help you out a lot. But if you're not going ahead on that platform, then you must take the screenshot of this. So at least you can cover those particular topics. All those people who want to enroll here, all you need to do is to simply click on get prime. Fine. And here with this particular course, if you enroll into this, you are getting subscription to 200 plus courses. Fine. So you can upskill yourself in data science, gen AI, whatever you like. Fine. So you put out this coupon code. Fine. And Shukla 10 is the coupon code. You will immediately get some discount here. Fine. Moving ahead, let's go to the next section where you will be having this logical reasoning portion. So in logical reasoning, generally coding, deductive logic, data relations, directional sense, coding in pattern, odd man out, syllogism, seating in data arrangements, mathematical orders, such topics come. However, directional sense, wait a minute. However, directional sense, coding, deductive logic, data relations, coding in pattern, syllogism, these are very, very important topics, fine. Even if you go ahead and if you leave this mathematical orders wala portion, fine. Then also you might not lose anything in exam, fine. Even if you lose this odd man out, then also you might not lose anything in the exam, fine. So rest of the topics are very important. The most important topics I have highlighted, fine. Inferred meanings is very important. Always one question is there from inferred meanings. So you must go ahead with this list. Take the screenshot again of this. This is the logical reasoning syllabus. If I go to verbal ability, then for verbal ability, you have synonyms, antonyms, contextual vocabulary, error identification, sentence improvement, tenses, propositions, reading comprehension. Fine. So this much is for verbal ability. Moving ahead to the coding questions. Now, anybody who wants to prepare these coding questions, you have to go through these topics. Fine. Either you go to these Wipro courses, fine, that I show you on prepinsta.com. It is clearly covered there. Or what you can do is you can also land up to the intermediate coding course, which is available on Prime again. If you're not able to bag these opportunities, then what you can do is free of cost top 100 courses available. You go ahead, practice, this up, practice it out. If you want to solve previous year papers, one or two would be available on prepinsta.com as well for free. If you want all the premium quizzes, all the premium mock tests, all the previous year question papers, then you will have to subscribe to Prep Insta Prime because it is available and collated there in a one structured format. Fine. So the basic syllabus for generally the coding question one is from easy to medium category and it is from basics, working with numbers, looping, functions, arrays, algorithms, coordinate geometry, strings, basic logic of programming. Fine. But for coding question two, when you move ahead, here you need good understanding of DSA. Sometimes both questions land up in the DSA manner. Both of them are from the core DSA and for that particular point, you need to have a solid grip. So these are the topics written here, 3D programming, dynamic programming, advanced arrays, matrices, queues, stacks, linked lists, trees, tries, heaps, bit manipulation, longest common subsequence, one zero knapsack problem, such things are usually asked, fine, n queens problem. 
So you go ahead, you take a screenshot of it. Now, if you want it to be structured for you, again, Prime would house DSA courses, Wipro courses for you very smoothly. But if you're somebody who has to prepare it in free, then buddy, 150 not out is for you. Why am I telling these free resources? I'll tell you why. The reason is some people might not afford this. Fine. Some people might not be able to bag this opportunity to go ahead and save their time in prep and stuff. Right? Fine. So at that point of time, you'll need to spend extra effort, extra time you'll have to invest with yourself to prepare in free. You'll have to do all the hard work again, which we have already done for you on prep and stuff. Right? But free may be dhoom dham se tayari hoti hai. Mein hamesha kehta aya hu. Aaj bhi hai hamesha hoon ga. Thik hai? Mein is baat ko kabhi nahi badlun ga. Free may be dhoom dham se tayari hoti hai. All you need to do is you need to put in extra effort, extra time, extra hard work. The reason is somebody was doing this whole hard work for you to collate resources, to prepare a strategy, to formulate things for you. Fine? If you're leaving all that out, then it is onus on your side that you go ahead, you practice it well. Fine? 150 not out this list i have told enough times you go ahead you'll find this link in the video the description as well fine so you go ahead you click on this study from this you complete these 150 questions if you have them on your fingernails you're prepared till interview number one you can crack any product based company if you know these 150 not out questions so that is the level there fine so if you practice this wipro would become a cakewalk fine and this is all for you of course but for this, you need to have a preliminary understanding of data structures. And for that, if you're not having it, then Prime can only solve those issues for you. Moving ahead, if you qualify all this, you will go to business discussion round where you'll have C, C++, Java, or Python, whatever language you choose. Then you might have another coding question, either from top 100 codes or inter basic or intermediate coding. Then basic DSA questions, your certifications, your projects would be asked. Moreover, some CS fundamentals, and I always call this bracket as CS fundamentals, fine. So this CS fundamentals bracket can also be asked to you, which is OS, CN, STLC, DVMS, SQL. Again, these are covered on Prime, fine. I had shown you that these are all covered in Prime. See, if I go ahead, it is fully covered here in the interview preparation. See, core subjects, you have DBMS, then I go further SQL, then you have SQL differently, you have operating system, you have computer networks, you have software engineering, methodology is fine. So you have everything pretty much covered here. If you're somebody who, again, is struggling with finances, take the inspiration from this syllabus, get your professor's notes, study from it, as simple as that. Fine, free may be calm, hoga, but mehnat lagi. Moving ahead, then you have to prepare for the HR round, fine, the business discussion would involve some HR components as well. So here, GD, HR, puzzles, guesstimates, this you have to prepare and some advanced DSA and some basic advanced projects or a bit of competitive coding. Generally, competitive coding is not asked in Wipro, fine. But if you're good at it, you must do it. That's an extra element of preparation. But you must have one advanced project with you. The reason is, that gives you an extra edge of selection. Fine. I'm not saying that this would decide your selection. I'm not saying that. This would give you an extra edge. It would cement the possibilities of yours to get selected in the flow. Fine. So that's pretty much about the syllabus and test pattern of it. Now, if you like this video, go ahead, share this with your friends. You subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, keep doing good for others without any expectation. Good will always come back to you. And if you want me to prepare a preparation plan video for you, if you want me to build a video which details the strategy on how to prepare for this particular exam, then you comment that out in the video's comments. Fine. So that I look and you push my team, you DM us on Instagram that you want my video on the preparation of Wipro Elite and I'll build a plan for that. Also. Fine. So have a wonderful day ahead. See you in the next video. Bye bye.